So I picked up some nice new watercolors and some pencils and some markers from Amazon um, that are supposed to very blend well in this series I'm gonna be practicing on the blend blending colors and getting better at this new hobby and as I'm showing you what I'm doing in the background yeah I'm meditating at the end of my day of a long day's work but I do want to talk to you about something that's been on my mind and I don't apologize for the clickbait because you ladies most of you you want to be lied to you like to be lied to that's right I'm talking about this food right here you gravitate to this type of personality you know the Steve Harvey type of personality the man that tells you what you want to hear but he doesn't live that type of life he doesn't he talks the talk but doesn't walk the walk actions always speak louder than words for years this man has berated and belittled other masculine men for having a set of standards and boundaries just to pander the women tell them what they want to hear in order to buy his product and not tell women the truth Understand, this is not a high value man. He may have money, which by the way, he misled and deceived the women into giving him in the name of the Lord, but he is not of value to the group. There are six basic principles to being a high value man. One, it starts off with money, $10,000 per month. Two, is five years of consistency. Three, group acceptance. Four, a network, network of others. Five, visibility, LinkedIn level. Six, utility, your usefulness to others and to the group. You can't have five years of consistency by being a hypocrite. As far as I know, he's never had group acceptance, nor can he be useful to others because he always throws men under the bus. And he doesn't even practice what he preaches. I didn't even know this guy was married. Why didn't he marry a single mother the way he tells other men to do it? Only grown men marry single mothers, right? He didn't marry a single mother. Yet he makes it seem as if you don't marry or date a single mom that you're not grown. Y'all gonna believe what y'all wanna believe. Because you like to be sold fairy tales. That's just how you are. Don't get it twisted. We all know he had an arrangement with her. She accepted him fooling around. She want the money. He want the money to keep coming in too. And guess what? She's not leaving him. She don't want to become a single mother like most of y'all. She don't want to do that. So she'll stick by him. Keep the money coming in. But are y'all stupid enough to keep paying for his products? Y'all need to have some discernment. If you listening to this guy talking about Jesus and all this other stuff, man. Look, I'm not a Christian, but I do know my Bible because I was a Christian. You know, God is not a God of confusion. You know, there's some principles and some morals. Some, you know, you got to have, be of upstanding character. You know, these things that you need to follow. Now, if you want to, if you want to if, if find some fairy tales, you want to hear some fairy tales, why don't you just come by to my channel and watch me coloring some of these Disney fairy tales, which is what I've been doing. I promise it's not gonna be ghetto. I'm not gonna throw nobody under the bus. We're just gonna get some colors together. We're gonna just, you know, chill out, meditate. You know, look at this. Look at the peach colors that I got from these markers, man. This joint is starting to look really nice, and I'm I'm enjoying myself after a long day's work. I listen to a lot of different perspectives. Actually, I like the the pink book lessons. It sounds it's, it's definitely from a, another perspective. And I like listening to O'Shea Duke Jackson. It's, he, he makes me laugh. There's some other things that are out there. But I, I, as a grown man, 46 years old, I'm, I, I have to use my own discernment when moving and navigating through life. I'm not listening to, to, to people on how I make these decisions. Check out now how I'm using these colors to blend. Yeah, I'm on another topic right now because I was having fun doing this joint. I really like the blending of these colors. To be honest, I've really grown tired of the back and forth between the men and the women and, you know, the just, you know, people bringing men down. The media has brought men down for the last, I don't know, 40 some odd years. 
I'm tired of it. And you ladies have let this guy come on in and do the same thing that the media has been doing to men for all these years, which is bring us down, berate us, and then come to find out that he's being a hypocrite. So y'all still gonna buy his book? I'm gonna ask y'all over and over again. Try something different. The wave of the future is really not the fairy tales of the past. No, men are not all bad. But if you keep promoting that ideology, we're gonna continually be at each other's strokes. Which is why I started doing this coloring series, which is to, to, to put us in a, in a state of meditation and to just be calm at the end of the day. Anyway, I'm liking the way I'm blending these colors. Yo, I'm really happy with this. Well, that's enough of my rant. I hope you enjoy the rest of my coloring uh, session. This is part one of this one, which is Ariel getting stoned. And hopefully we got some stoners out there that like to watch the, this type of uh, this type of artwork. I'm very pleased with the skin tone blending. I'm new at this, and uh, hopefully I'll get better and better at it. You know, I got some uh, some Marvel comics that I'm gonna that that uh, you know color in. Really like to you know make videos on that. But we're gonna start you know starting small with these um, different types of uh, projects.